Stan and Ollie. Directed by John S. Baird, written by Jeff Pope. Cast, John C. Riley, Steve Coogan, Shirley Henderson, Nina Arianda. My swift shot. Everyone who's laughed at some point in their life owes a hat tip to the most iconic comedy duo to have ever lived, Laurel and Hardy. If you're not familiar with them, they were the first Abbott and Costello. And if you're not familiar with those guys, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy were the first Bert and Ernie, Harold and Kumar, Jay and Silent Bob, Penn and Teller, and maybe most recently, Deadpool and Doe Pinder. I grew up watching them on Saturday morning reruns before the cartoons started, and their comedy transcends language, culture, and modern life. It's just funny, because these two worked so well together. Stan and Ollie focuses on that special relationship and how it endured despite some bad blood. Jeff Pope gives us a heartwarming story about the limits of friendship, love, and age, with a melancholy realization that all things must end, but the laughs live on. The film starts in 1937, Hollywood, where Laurel and Hardy have already made dozens of movies, more silent films, and are famous across the globe for their antics in the so-called double act. If you aren't familiar, that's the thing where you're doing a bit about doing an act while doing an act. Breaking the fourth wall is the whole shtick. That, in and of itself, can be funny, but what made Laurel and Hardy special was their impeccable comedic timing. They made everything look effortless, but in reality, all their acts were done with a level of professional commitment that's lacking in many entertainers now. Despite their fame and fortune, they have their problems. Laurel is constantly losing his money in divorces, and Ollie has his issues with women, but he also likes to gamble quite a bit. Fed up with never having enough money, Stan Laurel decides to ask Hal Roach, played by Danny Houston, for a raise, and is counting on Ollie Hardy to back up his efforts. But Ollie doesn't, and to make matters worse, he performs with another actor in a film. Yeah. <laughs> what happens for the next 16 years is left out of this movie, and we meet up with the duo again as they set out on a long tour to gain money and notoriety for their next film, a parody of Robin Hood. I resisted the urge to search anything online about Lauren Hardy prior to seeing this movie, and I suggest you do the same. As there's an element of suspense, will that Robin Hood film get made or won't it? Oddly enough, the name of the producer of the film is Miffin, or Muffin, and he becomes the MacGuffin. Stan would have loved that element. Anyway, it soon becomes obvious that their halcyon days are behind them as they check into a tiny little inn in the middle of nowhere, Newcastle, in 1953. And that's where the story centers around, this last tour they did for audiences and the toll it took on their friendship. Solid performances by Coogan and Riley make this worth a watch, with strong supporting work put in by both of the leading ladies who act as the catalyst to bring up old wounds that were never really addressed. Shirley Henderson plays Ollie's wife, Lucille. She's terrified that Ollie's heart can't keep up that act much longer. On the other side is Ida Kitavia Laurel, played by Nina Arianda. She's a woman determined to keep the show going. She isn't evil or anything, she just understands how rare it is to be this exceptional at something, and she wants Stan to keep performing. Ida and Lucille could really almost have their own film. This movie made me nostalgic for classic comedy, but it also reminded me of old friendships, memories of laughs that have long since left me. Stan and Ollie might not speak to you directly, but if you've ever performed on stage, it'll definitely resonate with you. Is it a laugh fest? No, not really, but it was an endearing reminder that these two old friends loved each other very much, and there's nothing wrong with that. And if you laugh a few times throughout, all the better. So let me know what you thought. Go ahead and comment on the review below and uh, let me know what you thought of Stan and Ollie and maybe how they impacted your life, if at all. And be sure to subscribe to the podcast as well over at Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, wherever you can find us, The Film Grouch Show.